Welcome back to EN64, today's video. WinCC Serial Communication Serial communication is also called RS-232 communication. RS-232 can communicate with many different types of devices. In this video, we will use a barcode scanner as an example. Let's install the required component. We will use the MS-COM32, it's an old ActiveX control and is hard to find. Luckily, GitHub has many copies that you can download. Type MSCOM32 and begin search. Please select one of them that best suits you and install it. First example, access barcode scanner. Start WinCC and create a single user project. Open the graphics designer and create a startup picture. Add the Microsoft communication control to the picture. If you don't have this control, please follow the instructions in the last section. Follow me and add other controls to the picture. Add a button to open the serial port. And a button to close the port. Another button to read data from the port. Also, add an I.O. field to display data from the port. Add a diagnostics window to display information. Okay, let's save the picture and make it a startup picture. Go to Computer Properties. Go to Graphics and set the start picture. Set other properties based on your own requirements. Open the tag management. Add a tag that holds the data returned by the serial port, we use this tag to display the data. Link the I.O. field to the tag. Open the VB script editor, we are going to add functions that related to the serial port. Follow me and add the functions. At this point, we need to change the name of the Microsoft communication control. Set its name to MSCOM1, or any other name you want. Add the rest of the code.
The read function. All right, that's all for the code. Let's switch back to the graphic editor. Link the open button with the open function. Link the read button with the read function. Write data to the input buffer tag so that we can see the data in the I.O. field. Link the close button to the close function. Let's make sure that we are accessing the correct port number. Open the device manager. Check the port number. OK, start the project and use the barcode scanner to scan a barcode. Open the port first. Take the barcode scanner and scan. Click the read button to get the data. Close the port when we finish the work. OK that's all for the barcode scanner. Let's see if we can send and receive message over the serial port. To send and receive messages we need to make some modifications to the script. Add name parameter to each function. Also we need to add send function to send messages. All right, modification complete. Go to the main picture. Let's modify the main picture to send and receive data. Add the send button and an I.O. field. Copy the left part to the right. Add another Microsoft communication control to the picture. Change the port number. And make sure the port number exists. Open the device manager again. Go to tag management. Add input buffer and output buffer tags.
Link the I.O. fields with the buffer tags. Link the buttons with the modified script functions. Alright let's connect the port 1 and the port 2 together and start the test. Open two ports first. Send data on the left and receive data on the right. Send data on the right and receive data on the left. Alright test complete let's close the port. That is all for today's video, thanks for watching, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe, see you next time.